Now to that big st story, the army has resumed anti-terror operation in Jammu Sunjwan army camp where two or more terrorists are believed to be holed up inside a house. Two minor blasts have been reported near family quarters at the Sunjwan army camp in Jammu along with exchange of fire. I army is uh, tightening the cordon close to the family quarters. Army commandos are searching the area. High alert has been sounded in Jammu and Kashmir. India Today is showing you these deferred visuals from the Sunjwan Army camp in Jammu. Uh, we are taking all the precautions so as to not to reveal any crucial details for the anti of the anti-terror operation which is currently underway. So due diligence is exercised before we give you these visuals. Army Chief Bipin Rawat has also reached Jammu last night and is monitoring the anti-terror operation in the Sunjwan camp uh, very closely. So far three terrorists have been gunned down in the operation while one to two more could be holed up in the area. Bodies of two slain Jesh terrorists have been recovered. Body of third terrorist yet to be recovered as army prepares for a final assault. Paracommandos who were flown in yesterday from Udhampur and Sarsava are currently deployed in the area. Yesterday, the terrorists stormed the Sanjuan army camp in Jammu in a pre-dawn attack. The terrorists then made their way into the family quarters in the vicinity. Two Javans were martyred while nine people were injured in the attack. Women and children have also sustained injuries in this entire terrorist strike. India Today's executive editor Gaurav Savan spoke to Jammu IG who is at the site of the army camp where the anti-terror operations are underway. Let's listen in. Counter-terror operations currently underway at the Sanjayan camp and with me is uh, the Inspector General of this area, Mr. S.G.S. Jamwal. Uh, Dr. Jamwal, what can you tell us about the current state of operations? Well, operation is on. It started yesterday. Uh, so far, three terrorists have been neutralized. Uh, we are taking care. Uh, uh, th that's why we, uh, we, we are taking a very deliberate uh, uh, move to ensure that there's no collateral damage, there's no loss to civilians. And uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to finish this operation soon. And the images, that we, see, uh, uh, yeah. the images that we see are very disturbing. If my cameraman just pans around and shows you, uh, are these? Is this the breach in the wall or breaches like this in the wall that the no, terrorists it, exploited? It, we we cannot jump to any conclusion. Uh, there can be possibility. I mean, this is a matter of investigation. We'll take uh, do that investigation as well. But right now, our main focus is to finish this operation. Right. Uh, three terrorists have been killed. Uh, do we know if any soldiers or their families are still, uh, you know, in harm's way? No, we cannot uh, hazard a guess like this. Uh, all I can say is that army is doing a very deliberate uh, move to ensure that there is no loss of life, no civilians are killed, uh, and we are taking precautions. And I'm very sure. Uh, because of the professionalism which has been displayed by the army so far, we will be able to finish this operation soon and with minimum casualties. These are All right, that was an exclusive conversation that Gaurav Savant had with the IG. We are joined by the executive editor Gaurav Savant. Uh, let's uh, go a cut across to him. We are also joined by Manijit Segal and Ashwini Kumar uh, reporting from Jammu. Gaurav, first to you and I want to get a perspective from you. You just spoke to the IG. Where was the security breach? Clearly, they don't want to jump the gun and make a guess. But what are the initial reports suggesting and what are you picking up? This is very, very disturbing. Uh, you know, uh, on the one side, you see the main gate of the Sanjuan military station. So you have a huge fortress-like gate, uh, and, and, it, and it has marble, and it has all of that, and huge gates. And this is where I am. This is the back gate. Look at the breach. Look at look. It has just tin sheds uh, and tin sheets covering this. Uh, Lieutenant General Philip Compose Committee, uh, when they looked into the breach that had happened earlier in camps, and they pointed out major things. They talked about expenditure that needed to be made, but expenditure that needs to be made in the right places. But currently there are operations on, and this postmortem perhaps can happen uh, subsequently. If I may, um, uh, you know, these are live operations, and that is why we are not uh, taking you to that area. Uh, 
the armored personal carriers of the Indian Army, they are already deployed there. Uh, the special forces are in. The terrorists are cornered. We can hear gunshots. We can hear uh, blasts that are taking place. And I want to quickly bring in my colleague Ashwini Kumar for more on this. And Ashwini, uh, we see some of our commandos uh, who are moving forward. It's a grave risk to their lives as they move into these family quarters. Uh, have all families been evacuated? Uh, yes, Koro. Uh, the IG uh, Jammu, Dr. SDS Jamwa, just knows he said that most of the families have been shifted to safer places. Around 150 uh, the families have yesterday shifted, and uh, there was no shifting of uh, families since uh, last night. And that means they have been shifted, and uh, no operation is very close uh, to the uh, building. Uh, there are family quarters, uh, three, four. Uh, story quarters and uh, the, they are going for uh, just now uh, today morning early in the morning around 2.30 and uh, then four around a, 4 a.m. there was two blasts and uh, just now after uh, just uh, one hour before there was a firing also another uh, grenade attack also so that means uh, the terrorists uh, are still there it can so be a one or at, two we at this point of time we don't know whether there's one terrorist or whether there are two terrorists uh, in this place uh, but uh, th sometimes there's probe fire uh, you know where you fire in a direction and you hope to to draw fire to yourself uh, to to ascertain whether there, there's a terrorist there uh, they're moving forward very cautiously i've been speaking to some of my uh, sources in the army uh, uh, one they're saying we're on top of the situation two uh, well a breach has happened uh, an effort will be made to ensure that the breach doesn't happen again, Anusha, Chief of the Army Staff, General Bipin Rawat, he's in Jammu, uh, he's taking stock of the situation, not just here, right. but other military camps and also at the line of control, Anusha. Gaurav, as you get us all those, uh, you know, detailed reports from the ground, uh, as uh, Ashmi is also telling us that one to two more terrorists could be there inside. What, uh, what is the sense of the entire situation? How long could it take uh, to neutralize all the terrorists which are holed up inside the camp? You know, unfortunately, uh, the army is uh, uh, not not really clear, or, or if they are, they're not sharing this about the number of terrorists that went in. Were they two, three, four, or five? Um, and uh, it's it's only when they clear this area, when they sanitize this area, and it's a huge area. It's a huge area spread over several hundred acres, if not more. Uh, it has family quarters. It has a school. Uh, it has a hospital. It has dispensary. It has administrative blocks. It has a brigade headquarters. So every area is being sanitized. Um, uh, fortunately, uh, uh, you know, when, when terrorists were entering, uh, the security forces, the sentry challenged them. There was an exchange of fire and the terrorists just went into, uh, you know, the family accommodation. That's the family accommodation uh, that, that we see right behind us. So it, it is here where the initial intervention took time because you had to evacuate families. And, you know, when people ask, do you believe in a miracle? I'll give you one story about how miracles happen here. There was a lady uh, married to a soldier. She was uh, she was pregnant, 35 weeks pregnant, and she'd been shot in the back by the terrorists as they were being evacuated. Uh, and that's the time the army, uh, you know, young Jawans, they rushed into a hail of bullets, uh, firing at the terrorists, hoping that he'd duck for cover, and they rescued her. Uh, they rushed her in an ambulance to a military hospital. Late at night, there was an operation, um, and, and she's delivered a healthy 2.5 kg baby. So right. the mother is safe, she's out of danger, the child is safe the child is out of danger the father apparently battling terrorists and this is what makes our army unique this is what makes our army uh, you know so special uh, this is a story that that I'll, I'll get much more details in a short while from now right Gaurav you get us that miraculous story and the story of the bravery of our soldiers who are fighting that tough situation we'll keep coming back to you to get a sense of what's happening on the ground for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to